Today, you're going to start coloring your abstract contour drawing. Let's get to work. To color this in, we're going to start off with these color sticks, which are basically just woodless colored pencils. And you're going to pick four colors to use. And then with these four colors, you're going to make a pattern. So you're going to put them in two sets of two. And now we're actually going to make a double pattern. So we're going to do a pattern within each section. And then each section becomes a pattern to each the next one. So I'm going to start by coloring very lightly. Like we learned in our worksheet, it's very important to color lightly with colored pencils so you can build up layers, which is really going to help us with when we blend. And I'm going to go pink, purple, back to pink, back to purple. So pink, purple, pink, purple, very lightly. In the next section, I'm going to do green, blue, green, blue, again, very lightly. You do not want to push too hard. And I'll take this all the way down this section. And then I'll go back to the pink, purple. back to the green blue and back to the pink purple until I have the whole thing colored in with those four colors that I picked. Almost finished with the color sticks, which are nice because they let you fill in a bigger area with colored pencil. Once you get them all colored in with your pattern going across, you're actually done with the color sticks and we're going to move on to regular colored pencils for the next step. So for the colored pencils, you want to find the same colors that you used to start. And then you also want to do a darker version of that. And to help you, I put together these sheets, these color blending sheets. This one has analogous colors blending together. So you have the orange going into the red, the red going into purple. That's what's next to each other on the color wheels. Yellow into orange. That looks like purple into blue, I'd say. This one is the red orange into orange. Yellow into yellow green. Yellow into regular green. Green into blue. This is orange into red orange. And this is the yellow green into green. You could do complementary colors, which are the ones across from each other on the color wheel. So. This is red going into green, or you could flip flop that green going into red, blue and orange, yellow and purple. You could also just do the lighter or darker version. So you could do light blue into a darker blue. If you were to have left a section white, which is an option, you could have gone white into any color you wanted and then any color into black. So I am going to do the dark blue with my light blue. I am going to do black with my purple one. I am going to do red with the pink. And I'm going to do the darker green with my lighter green. So now you end up with eight colors. 
And I'm just gonna start off with the ones for the pink and the purple. Get those out of the way. Now, since this is on the edge of the paper, I don't have to worry about this side. I'm just working on the edges that are next to the black lines. So with my pink, I want the red and the pink. And I'm gonna start again coloring very lightly, building up a little bit of red along the edge. And I'm gonna do this so lightly, bring it part way across. I don't wanna create a really hard line here. I wanna blend this in. So I'm gonna color that red. I'm gonna to switch to the pink and I'm gonna color on top of the red to help blend that. And then I'm gonna switch back to the red and hit the edge again so I can darken that up and build up layers, carefully bringing it out. I also want you to notice that I am coloring the same direction that my line is going. So I'm not going up and down. I'm going, well, I'm kind of going up and down on this video, but I'm going according to how the picture sits, side to side. I'll do the same thing with the purple. I'm gonna make that black along the edge. A really light layer to start, especially since black is a lot darker than purple. I'm really gonna to need to use my purple to bring that back in. Because as you can see, I am starting to have a little bit of a line happening right there from my black colored pencil. So I'm gonna to go to my purple and I'm gonna use the purple to darken that up right there and help make that line disappear. Blend it out. There, and now it doesn't show up as as much of a line. I'm getting a better blend from one color to the next. And I can come back along the edge with the black and very lightly build it up to darken it. Like we talked about in the worksheet, dark colors look further away and the lighter colors will look closer to your eye. So we're darkening up these edges to make it look like they're sinking back into the paper. And then I'll go back to the red and the pink and continue my pattern all the way down. Move on to the next section. When you get to the ones that are in the middle with black lines on both sides, you need to shade both sides. So I'm going to very lightly bring it out from both sides. Again, trying very hard not to create any kind of line. I want this to look nice and blended, nice and smooth. Use my pink to help blend that in towards the middle. Switch back to the red and darken up just the edges. Not by pushing harder, I'm still building up light layers. Once you have a nice smooth blend, you can push just a little bit harder right at the very edge to get that darker. So that'll be both sides and you can see it's going nice gradient from the red to the pink back to the red. Same thing with my black and purple, both edges Start off very, very lightly, especially if you choose black, because black gets really dark really fast and it can make a really big difference. And I'm kind of trying to line these lines up together too. So I'll take my purple to help blend this in. Right along that edge where it's the darkest. Leave it lightest in the middle. And then go back to the black, darken up the edges. So here, both sides. Darkest at the edges. I'm gonna take that all the way down on this part too. Both of these have black lines from the Sharpies on both sides. So when it's time for me to switch colors, I want it to be the same thing, where I start with the darker color on the edge or the contrasting color, you could say, 
and then the lighter color towards the middle to help blend it. Again, on this one, you don't have to worry about this side because it's the edge of the paper and there's no black line. And you are just going to keep working on this colored pencil blending until you have the entire thing blended between your colors. 